Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Uh, from Trace Parks, as you can tell from the intro. Uh, happy Thanksgiving from me. Uh, it is Thanksgiving today. Uh, last episode, I want to catch up to wherever. Um, it was a very short video. We ran after... I forgot what the dude's name was. I really forgot his name. Uh, um, I don't remember. But you have to go back in the video, like, go back in the playlist, I guess, to the last episode and, uh, figure out what the guy's name was, because I don't remember it. Uh, it started with, like, a W or something like that. I don't, I don't know. But anyways, today we're playing a case number four from the patrol desk. Buyer beware. So, hope you enjoy this patrol desk episode. Let's go. Oh, what the? Oh, select save game to overwrite. Uh, we'll start here. Yeah, we'll replace that because no one needs that. We're, we play the whole thing, so what's the point in, in saving all of them if you're going to play the whole thing? And, you know, what's the point? There's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up. Gets you recognized as a shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, hey, no. Dave, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Oh, too late. Look, he's dead. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. All right, let's go look at him. Broad daylight, crowded street. Let's look at this dude. Oh Everybody my goodness! Look, we gotta find that layaway voucher. I believe. Ha ha ha! Found it. Right. The layaway voucher. Gotcha, right on the point. Layway receipt. Pearl earrings. They now we gotta find to the handgun, hand. I believe. The handgun? Yeah. Where's your handgun at, boy? Give me your handgun. Alright, he's good. Go back. So we gotta find that gun. Where is that browning gun? You're good. Let me check his face. We're good, we're good, we're good. Nothing? Are you serious? I'm calling you stupid being an insult to stupid people. That's off a movie. That's a movie, you traitor. All right, all right, it's a dead person. I'm like, yeah, it's a dead person. Why would it not be a dead person? Is he dead? Uh, I'm Officer Phelps. Oh. Yes, I'm here about the shooting. Jesus. Did you know the victim? Scared me. <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name. Everett. Everett Gage, what a name. We gotta remember that one. Clovis Galleta. Galleta, yeah, Clovis Galleta. I in the witness account, y'all. Trying to do oh. You think you could tell me exactly what happened with this? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And you liar. I came okay. back. 
I was angry. That sounds like a lie. I walked in front. Her eyes are going this way, so that means it's a lie. Shots. I turned and saw me. She's looking face. away. That's a lie. That is a lie. Don't you dare cry. It's a liar. See, cold, dead liar. Liar! Miss Galetta, you know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. The layaway voucher, you can tell me! How can you prove different? The layaway voucher, you piece of crap. Your pearly earrings, Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. So I am I. smart. Tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God! I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop the <laughs> murder investigation. Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He showed me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. I doubt Mr. that ever happened. He's very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here. And I hear a loud bang. I doubt that ever happened. Mr. Gage you were inside the building when it happened. I hear another bang. And another. You and mean another. you were staying inside the building when you watched your own person die, right? Mr. Gage right? falls to his knees. It looks very painful. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway, between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Kalu looked very angry. Uh oh. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. Oh, he's the one that killed him? He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. Okay, then. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. Oh, what? what? That's racist. God. That's racist. <laughs> well, everybody just soak that in for a second. How she yelled out, he hates Jews. Who says that? That's racist. Let's keep going. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many, and they were so loud. We need you to concentrate, yeah. Miss Galetta. Even yeah, right, you are telling the truth, son. Well, there was one bang, and then another, and then three very quickly close together. Help, yeah, Miss Gayetta, yo. Miss Gayetta. Does that mean I can still collect my. my. Your what? Your okay. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. <laughs> okay, so now we have to go to the gun store. We gotta find that gun first, so. Where is that? Uh oh. Shoes. For these shoes. Doesn't give me anything to go on. What about that gun? It was in a bin. I want to see it. Let me guess. It's back here. No, it's not even a bin. Where's it at? Been at. Ah, who cares? Let's go to Eagleston. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. We're going to Nun Bush shoes. We're going to Nun. Yeah. Wait, we already did that. Go, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. We gotta find that gun first, cause I don't, I don't know much about that gun, anyways. 
I could just find that gun. It's in a bin, and I don't remember what bin it's in. I don't even know what it looks like, really. He threw it in a bin and left. That's all I know. Right now. Where is he? Or where is the bin, to be exact? It shouldn't be on him, because he's the one that got shot. Scared me half to death. That thing coming by. Tell me where the gun's at! Tell me where the gun's at! <laughs> no, the gun's gotta be somewhere. I mean, this might take me a while. But the gun has to... Uh-oh. The letter! Incidental. Into... Dang it. I was close! Sucks. Can't even find anything. Anything over here? Anything over here? Anything? 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 Anything over here? Someone tell me. There has to be something over here. I gotta. Whatever. Can you go to the jewelry store? Because I'd rather go to the jewelry store. Where's the gun? Where's the gun? Where's the gun? Can I talk to you? This sucks. I can't even find the gun. She said they hid it in a bin. bin. Tell me where the bin's at, woman. Help me a lot, actually. I might be just roaming around here looking stupid, but... I know where to go. Let's go to the jewelry store just because it's the only place we can go to. You know the way. You can drive. Jewelry store, sucker. Do it. I'm going to the jewelry store. Screw my life. Let's go. Investigating the jewelry store. It's been 13 minutes already, and. We haven't even done much. Alright. <sighs> Knockity knock knock, sucker. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. He's running. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Coming after you, Kalu. You got nothing on me, Edgar. Kalu, get back here! Oh. Was I supposed to shoot him? I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm a serial killer. I, oh, I didn't know. Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he had to lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Coming after you, Kalu. Hello, get back here. Coming after you, Edgar. You're going to die.
Got you, you sucker. Oh. Yes, Kalu. You get. You get, Kalu. Andrew Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. You don't really have to yell at the whole wide world, but okay. Got Edgar. The case that makes you, and the case that breaks you. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. <laughs> and the case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nodded our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation takes a certain animal cunning lad do you think you might be ready for that yes yes sir there you go cole phelps you can man. do it man he is the you man kalu is down we're gonna folks. beat the crap out of kalu kalu is not staying king and best of all a confession kalu is if you out if you fail in the former you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter how are you feeling lad fine sir very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. That made no sense. Ugh. This is your chance. Don't fail me. Alright, I got this down. I'm gonna do it like the man should. Blind piece of crap. I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. You followed Everett Gage and a girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Ooh. Gage was a, was a bastard. That's a lie. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. That's a liar. Yeah, yeah, did you had the gun in your hand. Man, you're such a liar. Jesus. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. The argument is Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That Jew hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Cullen? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America, it's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Hey, oh. Jews, Mr. Kalu. I don't know what you're talking about. You left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher? You and that stump gauge! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kite this and kite that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. <laughs> Ha, 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 Kalu, you get arrested. So you get murdered. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps. Isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Yeah. Then let me have a word with the Chief of Police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, boy. But here's a piece of advice. 
Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. Oh, son. Uh, you know what that means. You know what that means. We are going to the traffic desk. How do you like me now? Oh, son. Lego, ladies and gentlemen, this was L.A. Noir Part 4. I told you it'd be a lot longer than it usually was. Next episode, next Thursday, it'll be the traffic desk. We're starting all that dramatic stuff. You can't wait for that. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. My name is Trace Parks. That was Cole Phelps, the best interrogator slash shooter that I accidentally shot Kalu with ever. Yeah, so, anyways. Thank you guys for watching this video. Happy Thanksgiving to all of y'all. My name is Trace Parks. Hope to see you next Thursday. Bye-bye.